This is the story, Knowing Jesus in a New Way. It's by Godly Play Resources, and it is published by Morehouse Education. This is the second Sunday of Eastertide. It's the time where we prepare for the mystery of Pentecost and we celebrate Easter. And so we have this color of white of celebration. Last week, we learned about the three Marys who came to the tomb to bring spices for the body of Jesus. The stone had already been rolled away and when they went inside, they found that the body of Jesus was gone. All that was left was this linen cloth. They went back to tell the disciples what they had seen and Peter and John went to go see for themselves. When Mary was weeping in the garden, two men told her that Jesus had gone ahead to Galilee. And then Mary met Jesus in a new way. He said her name, Mary, and she knew that it was he. She went back to tell the disciples all that she had heard and seen. We also learned about how two men named Cleopas, and we don't know the other person's name, how they met a stranger on the road to Emmaus. The stranger opened up the scriptures to them, telling them how Jesus was the fulfillment of all of them. Whenever he broke the bread with them at dinner, their eyes were opened and they realized that it was Jesus come back to life. They were so excited that they went back to Jerusalem to tell everyone what they had heard and seen. And in today's story, even though the disciples had heard the story of the Marys and of Cleopas and his friend, they were still afraid. And so they were gathered in a room with the door shut. They were afraid that the soldiers would take them away the same way that they had taken Jesus. Suddenly, they heard a voice say, peace be with you. They thought it was a ghost, but he sat down, he ate some fish, and he opened the scriptures the same way he had with the men on the road to Emmaus. Jesus said to them again, peace be with you, and then he was gone. One of the disciples, Thomas, was not there the night that Jesus appeared. And when the disciples told them what they had seen, he did not believe them. There was doubt in his bones. He said, I will not believe until I see the wounds in his hands and in his side. But can we blame him? The disciples were learning how to stretch and stretch their minds to know Jesus in this new way. And so eight days later, Jesus appeared to them again in the room with the door shut. And he went straight to Thomas and he held out his hand and said, touch me. Thomas couldn't do anything but fall on his knees and say, my Lord and my God. Jesus said, do you believe because you have seen? Blessed are those who believe who have not seen. Now, if you were in the room with me, I would ask you to find something in all of our stories that reminds you of this story to tell us more about what it means. Since you're not here with me, I'm just gonna have to guess what you might pick inside of our room. So maybe you would choose this from our story of the crosses because Jesus ate a piece of fish with the disciples and also because it has a cross in the middle, which reminds us of Jesus' death and resurrection. Or maybe you would choose a scroll from the story of the synagogue and the upper room because Jesus opened the scroll and explained the scriptures to the disciples, telling them that he was the fulfillment. He made them come true. Maybe you would choose the symbol of Thomas. Each of the disciples have a picture that represents who they are. 
And this is the symbol for Thomas. I don't know what you would choose. Maybe you could find something in your own house, or maybe you could tell your parent or whoever you live with something in our room that reminds you of this story. But all of our stories are connected, and so anything could be a part of this story. And there's so many things that you can choose to work with today, but only you know what is right for you.